What's up y'all, it's Jordan. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to test your waters today. I'm gonna show y'all how to do ammonia, pH, nitrates, and nitrites. So let's get it rolling. All right y'all, what you're gonna do is, there's an API test kit you can buy, and it comes with four test tubes like so. I bought this at a my local fish store called Nolan's, and it's just a little eyedropper. You're gonna stick it in your tank, right? And you're gonna fill it up to that little line right here. That's five milliliters. That's what you need to test your water. Okay guys, first we're gonna be testing the nitrates. So you can see right here, this is a nitrate bottle. Bottle number one. You start with number one first, and I prefer that you shake shake up these bottles before you actually test the waters because you have to shake up all the pigments and stuff that are inside of them. So let's do it. Now you're gonna add 10 drops to this water as you can see right here add 10 drops. So let's start out with this one right here and we'll go. One two. and that's done and you always want to shake up the solution that you just mixed inside of your water. So, take it, shake it up for a good minute or two, and then you add your second bottle, which is nitrate bottle number two. See right here, and also it says to add 10 drops every time you test it. So it's got these cool little tabs you can pull off right here. So you got one, two, three, boom, right there. And you shake this one up. And then you let this one sit. And now let's test your nitrites. The nitrite test only takes one bottle, so you're good there. And it says to add five drops, like so. So as you can see, I'm about to add some drops. One, two, three, four, five. Put your cap back on your bottle get your cap for this and you shake it up. Shake this one up for about 30 seconds. Okay next you want to add eight drops to your ammonia test tube. So let's go ahead and do that. Like I said, eight drops, you can see right there. And then you shake this one up, because this one only has, or has two bottles, sorry. Two bottles that you test with. You shake this one up a little bit, and then you can grab your second bottle Oh, make sure to shake this bottle up now. And then you're going to add eight drops of this solution. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one dropped out kind of fast. That's okay. So then we'll tip it. Now you tip this because that's what the instruction manual says to do, so that's what I do. And then you let this one sit. Okay guys, now whenever you order this API Freshwater Master Test Kit, they send you a regular pH test solution bottle and a high range pH test solution bottle. I use this one right here because that's the one my tank uses. And as you can see, there's two different kinds here. Depending on what kind of fish you have, you'll know what bottle to use. 
just read the instructions and you'll find out what you need. Now we're going to test the high range pH using five drops. You can see right here on the camera. So we're going to open up the test tube. I'm going to drop in five drops. And that is done. I cap that and shake it up. Alright y'all, now that you've waited about five minutes to let everything settle in your test tubes, now you're going to check to see what your levels are. Now, this one right here is the nitrates. And as you can tell, my nitrates are running at around five parts per million or ten parts per million. So that's good. You don't want a lot of nitrates in your tank. And if you have a lot of nitrates in your tank, let's say 160 parts per million, I would say immediately do a water change. And if you want to know how to do a water change, I have another video on that. This is your nitrites. Your nitrites here are what comes after the ammonia. And my nitrites are at zero parts per million. So that's good. This test here is the ammonia test and as you can tell it's running at around zero parts per million that is amazing you do not want any ammonia in your tank whatsoever this is my pH test my high range pH test my high range pH runs around 7.4 maybe 7.8 but see that's still good it's not in the acidic level and it's not in the alcohol alkaline level too high so you're good there all right y'all that's how i use a api freshwater master test kit if you like what i'm doing subscribe hit that like button and ask me some questions i'll try to answer them as fast as i can see y'all later